Hello everyone. This tutorial I will show how to custom J table cell with button action. Now let's start. We going to create new J frame. And create new J table. Change name of column and uncheck editable to do not allow user edit table row. Now we going to create panel action for this table. Create button custom class and extends this class to J button. Use method set content area filled to false to remove border and set empty border as three. Next create panel action. Copy image that I has download to the project. and set all layout gap to resizable. So when we set all resizable, we can see the button keep center of the screen. Next we create table custom cell render. This class extends from default table cell renderer. Then we need override method get table cell editor component. Create object panel action and return it. Now go to mainframe to apply the cell custom to J table. And we need apply it to column index 3. Change table row height to 40 to make as larger. Go to set background color. but we still have problem with white color. First check is row not selected. And row as even number. Now I go to change selection background color. Next we going to add event to this button. We need to uncheck editable row for this column. But when we try to edit or double click to this action button, it changed to input text box. So we need to custom table cell editor. Extends this class from default cell editor. And override method get table cell editor component. Create object from panel action and return it. This class error because it require constructor, so now we need create default constructor and call super constructor.
Next go to main class to apply this custom cell render to the J table. But we see the panel action do not paint selected background. Go to table action cell editor class and apply table selected background to this panel action. Next we need mouse press color on J button. And then we going to create mouse event for this panel action. Create new interface table action event and create three abstract method. Then go to panel action class and create method for initialize button action. Create interface event in cell editor. And call panel action init event method. Go main form, this will error, because it need event parameter. Now this event has work. Next I will show you how use delete event for remove table row. But it will error java.lang array index out of bound. So we need stop cell editing before remove row. And thank you everyone for watching. 
see you next video.